On a few of my properties, I have a hilltop location that I like to use to scan the surrounding area. And on this property, it's this big rock right here there behind the Texas paintbrush. And Carpe Sus, it gives me a view of this lower field amongst others. But in this field, there are hogs. Now, right now, it is twilight, so I'm going to actually creep down way to the right and then come down from the right. And I'm going to be hindered by this hedgerow right here. And it's when I'm behind this hedgerow that the hogs are going to spook. And that's going to end up where I'm going to be shooting from. I would like to be here down beyond the tree so that I'd have a clear field of fire, but that just didn't happen. For this hunt, I'm going to be shooting my Lone Star Armory TIG-15 Multipurpose Carbine Enhanced in 6.5 Grindel. And I'm going to be shooting some Maker T-Rex 95 Brain Bullets loaded by Druid Hill Armory and a Starline Brass. Several minutes later and I've made my stalk and I'm behind the hedgerow just creeping along heading towards that tree where I'm going to have that open field of view. And then this happens and I realize I need to shoot and this is where things will start. That last shot did connect but I don't know what happened to the hog. And I'm too close to the fence on those, and so that's going to be the end of my shooting for this group. Nope. All right, let's go see what I found. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. I recovered two of the three hog shot. One was a 95-pound sow. That was the second hog shot. The first hog shot was a 130-pound sow. Neither one of them were pregnant. After that hunt, I've been shopping for some new gear. I'm after a new scanner, and my hunting buddy Ben, he has a friend that owns Tech Savvy Optics in Denton, Texas, a gentleman by the name of Tim. I went and talked to Tim. Tim is extremely bright, knows his stuff, very dynamic individual. Suggested that I check out the Infrared Finder. I will be doing a little bit of a review of this at some point in the near future. In the meantime, I've got it hooked up through Wi-Fi to a tablet in the truck and I've got it pointed one direction while I'm scanning another direction out of the truck and so I'm seeing both directions at the same time and I'm thinking this is cool. It is so cool in fact that when I did spy a hog I got out of the truck, I turned the finder around, pointed it in the direction of the hog, pressed the record button like I would on the ricks which is the exact wrong thing to do on the ricks. It is a quick press to record and on the finder it is a long press to record and I did a quick press, so I snapped this photograph, and this, so this is the only photograph I was hoping to record myself stalking down and shooting the pig, but that didn't happen. So I've got this one image for now. And just like that, here I am 160 yards away from the hog with my Rick Sleep L6 thermal weapon sight. It is pretty twilighty at this point, and so the hog could see me if it looked up, so I'm going to shoot from here at 160 yards. Here we go. And that's the kill I wanted to make. The hog was just a few yards from the woods and could have ducked into the woods very quickly. I get back to the truck and realize I hadn't recorded, so I did this. That's a pig down at 290 yards from here, 165, no, 160 yard shot on 165 pound boar. I must admit through the scope, I thought that boar looked bigger than 165 pounds. These are the three bullets taken from the three hogs recovered, one bullet each. The first bullet on the left is recovered from the 130 pound sow. It was my opening shot at about 85 yards. The bullet penetrated about 10 inches, had one pedal that broke off, as indicated by the line that is the crack. I just placed them back nicely together. This bullet traveled all the way through, stopping underneath the opposite side shoulder blade after approximately 10 inches of penetration. The second bullet recovered was on the 90 pound sow. It actually went through her pelvis and uh, traveled partway through her abdomen. Total of about nine and a half inches before stopping. It's recovered completely intact and fully expanded. And the last bullet recovered is from the 165 pound boar shot at 160 yards. Also fully expanded. One of the pedals looking to be about to the point of breaking off, but didn't quite. So 10 inches of penetration doesn't actually sound that good, but when you think about it, this is a very light bullet, only 95 grains. It's traveling fairly fast. It expands almost immediately upon impact, and so it is boring almost a one-inch hole through the animals, and that's why you're only getting about 10 inches of penetration is because it is destroying a lot of tissue along the way.
And while I was out getting my boar, Ben had his son out at my place taking this 180-pound boar at 45 yards that had a tremendous set of cutters on it. And Ben will be discussing this hunt and this kill on his channel, Hunt Texas Hogs. Check it out. In the meantime, I'm going to be working with some uh, new technology I hope to be employing on future hunts. Jeez, that's a creepy image. Should be fun. Look forward to it. Face this, my friends. 